Alright, so in this video, I'll be showing you how to make those two cool patterns on the 5x5. And actually, this can work for pretty much any cube. So, the first pattern is actually the last one I did. This is called the flower or dot pattern. Actually, I'm going to show you on the 3x3 three three first. So, here's a 3x3. Three three. Now, we're going to be doing what's called a commutator to put a dot piece wherever you want. So, let's say you want to put a red center in the white layer. Firstly, what we do is we take the red center and we put it there. Then, now it's there, we put another center in its spot. Now we've done two moves. Now we're going to reverse the first move we did, which is this, and reverse the second move we did, which is this. Then we have a red center in the white background, which is the Japanese flag, but we also have other centers. Uh, dot pattern. It's only four moves. So, we can apply the same idea to a 5x5. Five five. So here's our 5x5. Five five. So for this, what you want to do is you want to choose three colors that you want together. So let's say you want, and they have to share a corner piece. Like the, so red, white, and blue will do that because they share a corner piece. So let's say you want the red center in the white like we just did. So what we do, we take the red center and we put it in. Then uh, you could either have green or blue, but uh, I said red, white, and blue. So we bring the blue center in. Then we just undo this move, the first move we did. And we undo the second move we did. And there we are. So there's, that's pretty cool, but there's more. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the whole three layers. We're gonna slice in. So this is exactly the same as what we did last time, but instead of doing a single layer, we're gonna do a triple layer in. So these are three layers. Then we're gonna do these three layers. And then the, com and the commutator will just reverse this one and reverse this one. And there you go, this, and we have a pretty cool flower pattern. And we have it on the other side as well. Now, how to undo this? So, let's say we'll take this white center, and where does it belong? Now, you might say it belongs here, but we actually firstly want to surround it by its other centers. So, it actually goes here because it, it will surround its white. So, we put it in. Then we take uh, this center, and we put it in. Then we just reverse and reverse, and now we can take uh, I don't know, this blue kind of center, we can put it into the blue side, then we can put the red side in, and then we can undo that and undo that. So that's how to make the flower pattern. Now for the other pattern that I showed at the start, that's called the super flip. So if you've seen that video, if, if you haven't, then you should watch it. Uh, I show you how to make the super flip and actually really fast. So it looks something like this. And then with this, you get all the edges flipped. So I'm just gonna. Okay, so fun fact if you do the super flip and then you do it again, you get back to a solve cube. So actually, another alternative you could do is this. And that's, that's also a way you can do the super flip. So, how do we do it on this 5x5? Five five? Well, firstly, we're going to do the algorithm. I'm going to use uh, this algorithm because it's the one I use. So, the, for, the M, for the M layers, we're going to do triple layer. And for the up layer, we're just going to do single layer. So, we do this. Then we do um, uh, rotation. And then we do the same rotation. And then we have the super flip half done. Now, in case you're wondering how we did the this move on the 5x5, five five, it's I I use my middle finger and I kind of just push like that. So now we have the super flip half done, but we can do this one step further. So we're going to do the same thing, but the M the moves are going to be just this single layer. And the up moves are going to be these double layers. So we go like this. 
then we rotate and do the same thing again. And then rotate and do the same thing again. And there you go. This is the super clip on the 5x5. It is one of the coolest patterns ever. And to undo it is you use the same algorithms, but the only catch is you have to do the single layers first. Then you can do the uh, the kind of outer layers. Now, if I had a 7x7, seven seven, I could show you this, but I don't. So let's see if I can do this. You basically begin with the so on the first iteration you do all the the slice moves and up moves for M and U. Then for next time you do it, you do the up layers are double layers, but but uh, the uh, the the kind of M moves are just the middle the inner two layers, and then you just keep going until. You stop. You can do this on a 17 by 17, which I've seen. It is one of the it is obviously one of the coolest pans ever. So to undo it, I just go like this. Actually, you know what? I'll do the other way in case you prefer this algorithm. So I'll go like this. So you you, so you have to do the this the inner kind of ways first when you're undoing it. Then rotate. I if I'm doing this right. And rotate again. Oh dear. And there we go. We kind of have the kind of half super flip. And then we do this. Rotate. Oh, whoops. Oh dear. Oh, I'll just do this. And then uh, undo it. And then rotate again. And we have the uh, super flip uh, complete, completed, kind of. So, if you want to see other pans on the 5x5, leave them in the comments below. I might uh, respond to them. I might try mosaics. Those are really cool. Or the cube in a cube. Or, or the cube in a cube in a cube in a cube in a cube, actually. I'll do it on I'll do it on a three by three because I know how to do it on a three by three. That went in the garden and my GoPro is all dirty. Oh my god. No. Oh my god. Alright, you're just gonna have to deal with that. But, oh my god, my cube is not dirty now. Put this back on the wall. Okay, I hope, uh, hope we're good. So, here's the cube and the cube on the cube and the cube and the cube and the cube, I mean, on a 3x3, three three, and you can twist the corners, uh, there is an algorithm for this, but I'm, oh my goodness, my cube's dirty, but I'm not going to do it now, so here's a cube and a cube, but if you want to see that, I might try and do it, but if you want to actually see it, then leave in the comments below so I know what I, so I know what, so, not, so I know if you want it, wow, pronouncing stuff is so hard these days. Anyway, if you, if you enjoyed, like, subscribe, and uh, turn on the bell, I guess. And see you next time. Well, I'm really Luckily, these things are waterproof.